So we've got a course here that we're going to show uh, a problem that can happen on the front teeth. There's a lot of misconceptions. Some people say that in veterinary medicine that we shouldn't address the front teeth, that they're not a problem. That really doesn't make any sense because horses on average have say 36 teeth. They have uh, about 24 in the back and 12 in the front. They can have a few extra with canines and wolf teeth, but keeping it simple, 36. So to say that we only should work on the back teeth, that means that we're excluding 12 teeth. So that doesn't make any sense and I'm gonna show you why. Okay, so this is a young horse that's just a two year old and it's important to check them out at this age, not because they need a lot of work yet because they still have their baby teeth, but they can have wolf teeth that need to be extracted. But also we wanna make sure that all of the teeth are coming in in a uniform way. And because a lot of problems can start early in the development where maybe one tooth gets ahead of the other and that starts to create some distortion. So we'll zoom in closer here and we're gonna show you something. So if we look right here, we can see these are baby teeth and we should have six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can see that these teeth are slanted. They, they're higher here and lower here. This whole area comes down. The gingiva and the bone is actually coming down. It's a little hard to appreciate in the video, but there's quite a lot of overlap. Like if I put my thumb in here, it overlaps by this much. Whereas if I come on this side, you can see a lot of my thumb is sticking out. So we have a lot more overlap and that's because all of this bone and tooth is dropping down and that's starting to push his jaw to this direction. This jaw is being pushed over that way. So anytime we find these problems, we always want to know why. Why is something going on? Because once we answer why there's a problem, then we can find a solution, right? Sometimes we can't, we don't know why because there's a lot of things we don't know, but many times we can find an answer so we're going to look in here and we're going to show you why this is going on because there's a very specific reason and the good news is we can really help this horse. Okay, so now I've opened the mouth a little bit and we can see we're going to count the teeth. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So we're missing a baby tooth on this side and because we're missing a baby tooth, we can see how this one is shifted in this way. This tooth should meet with this one right here. And then there should be a whole other tooth here that meets with this one, and then this tooth should meet with that. And because this is missing, this area here is pushing down and growing into this bottom part. So what we can do with the balancing the mouth is we can take the pressure off this area and that will allow these teeth to maintain some opposition. So now we've answered the question why, and then we know how we can address that, we can fix this issue. And because the horse is too, this may not seem like a big problem right now because it's not a huge problem, but every year that this horse lives, this problem is gonna get worse and worse and worse and worse, right? Because we have a, a functional or a structural issue going on. But if we come in as equine dentists and we balance these incisors, we can prevent this bone from shifting down. And so we can truly change the course of this horse's life by addressing it early. And that's the power of working on the incisors and the cheek teeth, not just or like working on one area only so. Mm -hmm.